is a disturbing possibility. The world around us isn't real, but instead we're living in a simulated reality. What we take to be the natural cosmos may be just a simulation created by some intelligence beyond our knowledge. According to this idea, we're no more than self-aware characters in a kind of holodeck novel. In 1988, Austrian computer scientist Hans Moravec became the first to suggest what's become known as the simulation argument. Ten years later, Swedish philosopher Nick Bostrom at the University of Oxford explored the ramifications of this argument in detail. Bostrom started from the premise that it's not unreasonable to suppose that an advanced civilization would eventually develop the means to create a simulated reality, and not just one simulated reality, but very likely a huge number of them, for research purposes, or just for fun, maybe in the form of a commercially available game. Now, Bostrom asked, what's more likely, that we're the first species who in time will do this, or that we're actually the characters in one of the countless simulations created by other intelligences. Remember, if we're just conscious characters in a simulated reality, we wouldn't know it because to us, it would seem like the real world. Maybe the virtual characters in a simulated reality can become so advanced that they can fashion their own simulated realities and so it might go on layer upon layer. Following this line of reasoning, we may not even be a first-generation simulated reality, but one that's nested much deeper. Suddenly, the multiverse concept of the cosmologist starts to seem small beer by comparison. Reality itself might be a relative concept, and in truth, there's an untold number of simulated realities, many of them inhabited by sentient beings, who are under the illusion that they live in the one true reality, arranged in a mind-bogglingly vast hierarchy. Unfortunately, simulations can be ended very easily and quickly by their creators, just as we can close down a computer game with a simple click when we've had enough of it. So, if we were virtual characters in some much more elaborate charade, our existence could be rudely curtailed by a higher being getting bored of the goings-on in our own little cosmos. Press quit, and we in our fictional universe are returned to the digital recycle bin of a computer in a much more real level of reality. Perhaps if we live in a simulated reality, we'll find out about it, just as some of the protagonists in The Matrix do or as happens in The Truman Show. Then we might find some way to pop out of our simulated reality into the reality level above us. After all, whether we're participants in a simulated reality or not, we are conscious entities and we're ambitious and smart. On the other hand, if we are characters in a simulation, perhaps ignorance is a blessing. The obsolescence of humanity would be tragic enough. The discovery that we'd been totally irrelevant all along would be very hard to swallow.